we begin, make sure you're using the latest version of Trust Wallet. That way you have access to the newest features and the latest security updates. Okay, so in this video, let's go over how to swap Bitcoin for Ethereum. Now, the great thing about Trust Wallet is it allows you to swap crypto assets across chains or on the same chain. So for example, I can swap Ethereum for Bitcoin or Bitcoin to Ethereum, even though they're on different chains, or I can also swap on the same chain. Okay, so for this example, let's go ahead and select swap. And what you can see here is I have uh, right now BNB swapping over to TWT, both on the BNB smart chain, but I'd like to again swap my Bitcoin or some of my Bitcoin for some Ethereum. So I'll go ahead and choose the from field. Now here I'll need to make sure that I have Bitcoin selected uh, in terms of a chain. So what I can do is select the blockchain dropdown, select all networks in this example, and just to ensure that Bitcoin shows up. So I can go ahead and select Bitcoin. Okay. And next I'll need to swap that to Ethereum on the Ethereum chain. So I'll go ahead and select two. And right now you can see again, I have BNB smart chain chosen. So I'll need to make sure that that's Ethereum. So I can either select the Ethereum chain down here, or I can select all chains. In this case, Ethereum is good enough. So let's go ahead and select Ethereum. Okay, so the next step is I need to choose an amount. Um, now I can type in any amount that I have, or I can go ahead and choose one of the predetermined amounts. I'll go ahead and just choose one. And as you can see, it shows the different information, including the fees and the third party provider. So far, everything looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and select continue. And again, I'll want to go ahead and confirm the information. I can view more details for more transparency. And then once I'm happy with it, I can go ahead and confirm the swap. Now I'll just need to wait. And while that's happening, I can go ahead and check out the transaction details. And here I can see that the swap is pending. I can go ahead uh, in the meantime and check it on the blockchain explorer by selecting that. And this will just allow me to see everything in full transparency so I can go ahead and verify everything on chain as well. With no issues. So I can go ahead and X that out. So as you can see, it's still pending. Now, depending on the chain that you're swapping to or from, this could take shorter or longer. And as you can see in real time, uh, it went in the swap was completed. Now, what I can do from here is I can go ahead and swap more, or in this case, I can go and check my balance so I can select home. Go ahead and refresh that just to make sure everything's up to date. And as you can see, I've done the swap and I've swapped over some Bitcoin over to my Ethereum. I can go ahead and confirm that by going into the details. checking history. And as you can see, this is a swap that we just made here today. I can go ahead and select it again for more details. And I can see the time that it completed, the sender and all the other details. Again, I can also again, click view on blockchain explorer to see that it completed on chain as well. So that's pretty much it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials.